Did you update Bamboo Studio to version 2.4.0 and thought, okay, what actually changed? Yeah, this update has some new features that are very easy to miss, but they can make your prints stronger, organize your build plate much better and save time in your daily workflow. Today, I'll show you only what really matters, no filter and in a very beginner friendly way. So let's go! This version 2.4 brings a lot of changes related Related to the new H2C printer. But don't worry, today I'm not focusing on that, because Hugo will make a separate video for people who just bought the H2C, especially since it now has six nozzles, which can be confusing at first. Here I will focus on the updates that work on any bamboo printer and that you can already test right now. Let's start with, in my opinion, the most important features in this update. First, think about the infill. Infill is the internal structure of the print, the part that give it strength. Before this update, if you wanted a stronger print, you basically had only one option. Increase infill density. 15%, 20%, 30% and and suddenly the print takes much longer and uses more material. And what's new? Now we have a new setting called Sparse Infill Line Multiplier. The name sounds complicated, but the idea is very simple. Instead of only changing density, you can now choose how many infill lines are printed side by side each time the infill is generated. A simple example, I keep infill density at 5%, very low, but I set the multiplier to 2. Result? The slicer prints two lines next to each other instead of just one. If I set it to four, it prints four lines together. The maximum value is five. If you try to go higher, it automatically goes back to five. No tricks here. Why is this useful? According to Bamboo Lab, this results in stronger prints without increasing infill density too much. So you get less material usage, shorter print times, strength where it actually matters. Important note, this feature does not work with all infill patterns. For example, it does not work with... I will leave the full list on screen so you don't waste time testing incompatible patterns. When should you use this? Functional parts, mounts and brackets, parts under mechanical stress, hooks, bases, connectors. For decorative models or miniatures, not really necessary. Now let's talk about organization. If you like things clean and alive, Lines, you will love this. I definitely do. Before we had the arrange button, which automatically places parts on the build plate, but it only makes sure that parts can be printed, not that they look organized. And what's new? Now you can align and distribute parts manually. It's very easy. Select multiple parts with Ctrl or Command or right click and select all. Then go to the move tool, click align and distribute and that's it. Your parts are clean, aligned and well organized. This is great for printing many parts at once, keeping plates visually clean, better workflow and preparation. Now this feature is small but very useful. Now you can move the entire plate at once. So right click on the plate, choose move plate, select the new position and done. That's it. If you work with multiple plates, this saves a lot of time. Mm -hmm. Another nice improvement is the project page. If you upload a 3MF file to Maker World, the project information inside the 3MF will be overwritten by what you write on Maker World. So keep that in mind. These are, in my opinion, the updates that actually make it different in Bamboo Studio 2.4.0. The idea is to make videos like this every time a new update is released, focusing only on what's truly useful. So let me know in the comments, have you updated already? And have you tested the new infill settings? Let me know in the comments. And stay tuned because Hugo will release a full video focus only on the H2C and the slicer changes for it. That's it for today. See you in the next update and boob.